With the departure of John Beeline, who's one of the most highly regarded offensive coaches around, the big question entering the season for Michigan was how much Juwan Howard would change the offense given his NBA background. And the answer has pretty simply been not that much. Here you can see Howard tapping his chin to signal Michigan's most used play, the chin series from the Princeton offense. It's the same chin that was a big part of Beeline's offense. This is a game also from the Battle for Atlantis, but in 2015, and you can see the similar back screen flare screen pattern of the Chin series. Beeline ran this even before he got to Michigan, but he did evolve in more recent years to use Chin to flow into spread ball screens for players like Trey Burke and Xavier Simpson. And that's exactly what Michigan is doing this season. Here they run the ball screen for Simpson, and Gonzaga guards it the way a lot of teams guard Simpson ball screens, going under. The goal for Gonzaga is to dare Simpson into shooting the three or making him give up the ball. As we saw last season, Simpson developed that running hook shot at least in part as a response to that under defense. He's used it to finish in traffic over bigger defenders. John Teske's ability to pick and pop is another important part of Michigan's ball screen attack. Teske had an effective field goal percentage of 46% on pick and pops last season, but he's all the way up to 60% in a small sample so far this season. Maybe the most important factor to the ball screen offense is actually the players who aren't Xavier Simpson or John Teske. If opponents have to respect the players not involved in the screen, it opens up the floor for Simpson to either score or just make the right read. Against Gonzaga, Eli Brooks and David DeJulius were a combined five for nine from three. And while neither shot it well in limited playing time last season, they're both right around 50% from three through seven games this season. The Michigan forwards were impressive as well. Franz Wagner was only playing in his third collegiate game. But this strong drive to the rim off a secondary transition play is a very promising sign if you're a Michigan fan. And we haven't even talked about Isaiah Livers, who led all scorers with 21 points and can score in a variety of ways. He even confidently knocked down a jumper off a pin down against Gonzaga. Michigan doesn't just run chin ball screens. On this one, they got a layup off of a design set play, but the Xavier Simpson ball screen is used a lot, and the Michigan supporting cast passed the test against Gonzaga. Now from Gonzaga's perspective, they've had a lot of early season success playing through Philip Petrushev. Other opponents have been forced to send double teams, but with Teske, Michigan could guard it straight up. Petrushev went just three for 15 from two in the game, in large part thanks to Teske. Against Gonzaga's high-low action, Michigan clogged the paint and dared the Gonzaga bigs to shoot. Petrushev made a couple jumpers early, but the sags were still worth it for Michigan. Here is one of Gonzaga's go-to actions. They reverse sides of the court to set up a ball screen while a big is ducking in down low. Again, Teske just sags off and protects the rim.
Gonzaga likes to play in the trenches. Even though the Duckin can crowd the paint, they've been extremely successful with it, not only in past seasons, but to start this season as well. Most teams can't match up size-wise like Michigan could. And not only could Michigan match up defensively, but having two or three bigs in at a time didn't hurt them offensively. There was still enough floor spacing for the offensive end. Teske in particular is extremely good at guarding two players at once. He showed that ability all last season with his ball screen defense. He can provide support on the ball handler while also protecting the rim at the same time. It wasn't all lowlights for Gonzaga. This was the first play of the second half, and they moved the ball quickly side to side before converting downhill off the ball screen. Killian Tilly had 20 points and showed he has the ability to play in the trenches. He used the short roll to score around the rim. Freshman big man Drew Timmy had a basket off a spin move, and he had a high-low basket attacking the sack, which is exactly what Rui Hachimura and Brandon Clark were so good at last season. Michigan also switched one through four with livers, and Tilly was able to score a couple of baskets late in the game, attacking those mismatches. There was also a short period in the first half where Gonzaga went to a small ball line, and while that's not generally the way Mark Few likes to play, it did look pretty good offensively with four around one and Tilly being a playmaker. We did an exclusive Hoop Vision Plus article on Gonzaga's offense earlier this month. To check out that article and to regularly receive college basketball analysis right to your email, subscribe to Hoop Vision Plus today.